Love Log, and I'm so excited to bring you today six ways you can protect your skin from sun damage. Hit that subscribe button and let's get started. First off, I'm sure that you've noticed this awesome futuristic chic, like the coolest thing I've ever seen, sun shield. Guys, this is so cool. So obviously the first tip I have for you is to wear a sun shield, visor, or hat when you're in the sun. You definitely want to shade your face and keep it from getting sun damaged, of course. So I was super excited when I discovered these bluestone sun shields. Um, check these babies out. So the one I was wearing is called the Full Lux in Mermaid, so it's like a purple blue gorgeousness. <laughs> these puppies block 99% of UVA and UVB rays. They come in a short version and a long version. And you can actually see through these, which is the coolest part, I feel like. So not only is it just an awesome visor that's going to protect your face against all sorts of rays and blue light, um, you can see through them and they look so cool. So this pretty little lady is called the Shorty Lux and this one is in rainbow. So as you can see, this one has a little bit more colors in it than this one. So you basically just put it on like a visor and you can pull down the shield however far you want it. Um, guys. <laughs> I love these. I can still see perfectly through this. Like I could read a book, do anything. Give me a fashion statement. Let me look chic and protect my skin at the same time. Bingo. These are just like a visor and they have sort of like a sweat wicking sort of mesh in here, which is nice. It has their little logo in here. And one of the coolest things about these sun shields is you don't have to wear sunglasses with them because they're already protecting your eyes. It's like a hat and sunglasses in one, which is so convenient for me. They're just like my must have for summer. So thank you Bluestone Sun Shields for making these beautiful, chic, awesome sun shields to protect my skin, but also help me look good doing it. Okay, however, when I am like exercising outside, like running or bending, jumping, working out, etc., I still do prefer my Lululemon hats. Obviously you don't have to get this brand, just get a brand that will protect your face from the sun and also stay in place while you're doing a lot of activity. Number two, I'm sure you guys already guessed it, is sunscreen. Must have, don't skip it. Apply every single day, even if it's rainy, overcast, even if you're not going outside. And guys, we really wanna protect our skin. It's the only set of skin we get, and we really wanna keep it cancer-free. I really, really care about you. Please, please apply your sunscreen every day. So I always apply above a 30 SPF on my face every single morning before I put on my makeup. Then it's, you're also going to have to reapply it during the day, which is kind of a pain. So I have two quick tips for you if you're wanting to apply your sunscreen over your makeup. Let's face it, if you just put it in your hands and wipe it all over your face, your makeup is going to be completely ruined for the day. So first off, oh, okay, well, it came out without me even knowing. So first off, I will use a beauty blender or like a makeup sponge. Just tap it in a little bit of the sunscreen like this and then just kind of dot it on and really blend it out well. See, I put a decent amount of sunscreen there and you can't even tell. Okay, and then the second tip I have is just to take like a stippling foundation brush and then kind of just pat it into your skin as well. There we go, my forehead is nice and protected now and it didn't mess up my makeup at all. If it does kind of mess up your makeup, you could just go over with a little bit more foundation, contour, etc. But this is way better than just smearing it all over your face, I promise. <laughs> It's not a perfect system, but your skin is so important to take care of. So you're probably saying, Sarah, my foundation already has SPF in it. Well, if, usually it's only like a 10 to 15 SPF, which is not really going to protect you, and you're not putting on enough of it to actually do any good. So I seriously recommend just applying a sunscreen underneath your foundation. It's quick. It's easy. I know it's one more step, but it's such an important step. Also guys, you don't want to forget about your gorgeous lips. So don't forget to apply a lip balm with an SPF in it. So you can apply a physical sunscreen, which is like a titanium dioxide or zinc oxide, or you can apply a chemical sunscreen, which contains a whole, there's a whole list of them. Um, if you want me to get into the differences between those, the pros and cons, some studies, etc., leave a comment below, but I think I'm going to leave that for a different video. So you want to look for a sunscreen that has an SPF of above 30. The maximum rating is 50, so I try to get close to 50 if I can. Also, make sure you check that expiration date. If you're in water or sweating a lot, you definitely need to keep track of how often you apply it. Apply it every two hours minimum. Also a little side note, um, you know when you go to the nail salon, you put your hands in the UV light to kind of set your 
gel nail polish etc well you want to apply sunscreen to your hands before you do that because that's a lot of uv exposure on your hands it's just not great for you Okay, number three is to wear protective clothing. I know that I have the cutest swimsuits for my daughter that have like a long sleeve rash guard with like a UPF in it. I cannot find like grown adult women's that are that cute. If I could, I would wear them. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to stay on the lookout and I will report back if I find some good ones. But obviously tighter woven fabrics will protect your skin more than loosely woven fabrics. Like a loose linen is not going to provide as much sun protection as like a tightly woven like swimsuit material, sort of like a neoprene or even jean material, that sort of stuff. But if you can't wear the long sleeves and the pants, then definitely put on that sunscreen every two hours. So number four is stay in the shade if you can. It's not like the shade is going to block out all of the sun's rays, but it will help a lot. So this goes along with number five, which is to stay out of the direct sun from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. when the sun's rays are the strongest. So I found a good example of if you're outside and you look at your shadow and it's shorter than you are, then the sun is too harsh and you need to seek shade, which I thought was a good reminder. Instead of remembering 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., you can just remember like if my shadow looks short, I should probably stay out of the sun as much as I can. Since I know that's not always possible and I don't always stay out of the sun in those hours, the other tips I've given you are great for if you do need to be in the sun. And lastly, number six, so important. Um, don't use a tanning bed, guys. This comes from me. I used tanning beds all throughout high school and college before I knew that they were awful, awful for my skin. And I can just say that don't do that to your skin, please. It's causing so much damage. And I wish that I could go back and take back all those tanning hours because, I don't know, it just makes me sick to think how many hours I sat in those tanning beds. Ah! Self-tanners are way better, way faster, and way easier and so much cheaper than going to the tanning salon. Guys, I am bronzed, and this is from a self-tanner that I applied last night. So easy, so quick, so inexpensive. So I do use the San Tropez Express, which is like 40 bucks a bottle, but it lasts me four to six months, and I apply it every single week. My tan lasts anywhere from seven to 10 days. So I actually have a video coming out on Friday, so I'm gonna link it right here when it's up, where I show you how to get the perfect self-tan at home without any splotches, runs, no orange, nothing. It's super easy, super fast. But I'm a huge believer in self-tanner, so protect that skin. It's the only skin you have. I truly care about you, and I just want you to be safe and cancer-free. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.